So this is the meet and greet event of Harvest Foundation. To learn more about Harvest, please visit the website harvestfoundation.org. I'm Eli Oliveira, Harvest Global Field Coordination, and I welcome you all with the words of Psalm 108, 3 to 5, that says, I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God. Ellie, we don't hear you, and your screen is frozen. Hear you. You are frozen, are, Ellie. We are not able to end to follow you. We don't understand you. Okay, reading scriptures in Psalm 108, three to five. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Good evening, good uh, morning for our friends from the America. Um, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Misha Kokumu. I live and work in Nairobi. And uh, I'm the Africa advisor for Samaritan strategy and for harvest work here in, uh, in Africa. I'm happy to be here today and to see many friends that I've not seen for a long time, like Steve. Uh, so it's just lovely to, to see each one of you. Um, I've been uh, training using Samaritan uh, strategy, the harvest material for um, over 15 years. And uh, mostly I work in the informal settlements of Nairobi. That's the little about me. Thank you. Papa Bingo, who connects? Brother Buingo, you are next. Share okay. with us. Okay. I am Buingo. I in French countries here in Congo. I'm also working with a team for now, a big team here in Congo. And uh, I, I worked with the Samaritan strategy from 2003. So God is really blessing us with the material from harvest and we are really uh, touched and our churches are touched with those materials. 
and we are we thank God for everybody for the big family we have in in harvest. So thank you. Hi friends, my name is Clayton Oliveira. I coordinate Intercontinental Suns projects in the US and is starting a new area in Mozambique. Oh, this year we will spend some time working together with the team in Brazil. I would like to share just one verse from the book of Acts, chapter five, verse 42, that says, and constantly, either in public, in the temple, or in their homes, they kept teaching and proclaiming Jesus as the anointed one, the liberating king. Amen. Amen. Jeff Sikabwe, we are ready to listen to you, brother. Yes. I'm Jeff Sikabwe. I'm based in the Kinshasa DRC. Can we yes, see your I'm, face? Uh, I have pioneered uh, some project. In... Yeah, I'm not able to do it, but uh, you just enjoy with my voice. I'm Jeff Sikabu, as I said. I'm based in uh, Congo, Kinshasa. Since the year 2019, I've started a uh, SAMS project in Congo, Brazzaville. Today, I'm so happy to see you, all of you. I went through my first uh, training. It was in the year 2004. Uh, from that time, I've been working as a, a trainer in the, uh, the harvest ministries. So I trained people in different uh, sectors, in different uh, countries in Central and East Africa, even in a different congregation. Many people uh, lives have been changed and the community changed in uh, different ways. So I really uh, thank God for this ministry. I really thank God for his uh, protection so uh, thank you for that. Linda Morris. Hello everyone. My name is Linda Morris. I'm based in Phoenix, Arizona in the USA. I've been with Harvest since 2001 and doing training since 2004. And I'm grateful to be a part of this global family. It just reminds me of God's intentions from the very beginning that we'd be one family. God bless all of you and may God increase your ministry and your reach in Jesus name. Amen. Well, I guess the uh, another person is not here, but uh, my name is uh, Prakash Nimade. Uh, good evening from India. Um, I've been associated with Harvest uh, since 2004, 2005. And as I always tell people very happily that Teaching is my passion and I love training people, pastors, uh, visiting churches. And Harvest has given me this opportunity in Asia. I have been enjoying this ministry and God has been so good and I'm so happy uh, to be associated with Harvest. Our friends, uh, our friend Dr. Nitin Gode was online but it's raining heavily in his place. So I think he's disconnected, his internet is disconnected. In case he comes back, he might share something with you. But uh, 
uh, from Asia, South Asia, uh, I want to greet all of you. Uh, love you all. Thank you, Prakash. Brother Akim, would you like to share? Brother Akim from DR Congo. We can see, Brother Akin. You have yeah. the word, brother. Thank you. OK, uh, moi, c'est Akim. I am Akim. Je, je, je bénis le Seigneur d'être là. Je vais traduire. I praise the Lord to be with you. Je travaille en RDC et je, je coordonne un projet. I work in you. Uh, DRC, and uh, I am also working in SEMS. Ouais, et j'ai un projet à, à Kenge. I have a project in Kenge. Nous avons terminé la première phase et c'était uh, la joie et de tout le monde. On a, uh, we finished the first uh, phase, the step, and uh, we were very happy. Uh, nous comptons poursuivre avec l'équipe de Kenge. We, 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 we are here, he, he, we, we are happy again to continue with Kenge in the second step. Et faire uh, de sorte que le royaume de Dieu soit, soit vraiment étendu à dans ces milliers. To expand uh, the kingdom of God. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Thank you, Akim. Um, I like the French language. Um, that, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you if you were able to to understand my English also. Okay. Ne me quitte pas. <laughs> Just those words. Um, I'm Ramiro Carvajal. Um, I try to serve an uh, amazing team in Latin America, and um, we have an amazing team in uh, America continent uh, with uh, Diogenes, uh, Steve, Linda, and, and others. And, uh we're very uh, very exciting because this week we will start a, a new training with some friend in spain in madrid so praise the lord and we will continue with the training uh, with uh, my uh i don't know how to say but it's, it is a, a lot of blessing for me um to train a, a young people in in colombia they they are like a my my John, like Jesus, you know, when uh, disciple John is special, very special. And um, I, I want to introduce uh, um, uh, amazing uh, serf of God from Venezuela, uh, the pastor uh, Virgilio and uh, Maria Liz. Uh, they made, uh, they are, working with uh, uh, in amazing uh, some training in, in Venezuela and Caracas. So please, uh, Virgilio and Marielis, please. Ah, por favor, pueden, pueden contarnos, pueden hablarnos. El micrófono, el micrófono está, está, ok. From Caracas, Venezuela. You, Virginia, and Marielle, we thank God for the opportunity and privilege to serve Him. We will tell you a little about what we have done in the community of Caracas. We are 
we have seen how the practical has impact and transform life. We are currently conducting training in a community called Tierra Roja. There a group of brothers are learning that it is important for the church to understand its rules and begin to impact the community. They have all the courage of projects that includes the realization of a dining room for children. In the same way, we share that the church that have already been trained to continue to carry all this vision. They learned in their training. The service began to be part of this essence and proved up in great in a great way. The model that Jesus left us is the model of love and service to follow. We pray that every day in the midst of the war situation we are going through, the people of God will move forward showing a practical gospel of the service to God. Blessing to your life. Thanks to the brothers who make their contribution to sports this ministry, and we pray that God continues to show his glory through you and each one of his children in the world. Thanks. God bless you. From Caracas, Venezuela, with Thank you, Virgilio, Maria Alice, precious. Thank you. Los amamos. Gracias por todo. Brother Romain Diakutu Samba speaks directly from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Romain, it's your time to share. Thank you. Ellie. Eu acho que ele está com problema no áudio dele, não conectou o áudio dele. Então ele não está ouvindo a gente nem vai conseguir falar. Buingo, maybe you can confirm. Maybe Romain is not connected. Actually, we see his name. Yes, but... he has a problem to be connected. He, okay. He, he was, yeah, I I got him, but he is really he's really online, but he has a problem to connect it. Okay. Uh, can you please share about? Romain's ministry. You can share. Yeah. We, were, we are working with Romain as a associate staff here in DRC. And he's one who also is working very, very hard uh, in, uh, in the south of uh, Kinshasa, of the town of Kinshasa. And uh, he has a uh, a project, two projects there he, in Chela and uh, Sioni also. And uh, he is really doing a good job with uh, Biamongu bus because Biamongu also has a problem to be connected. Okay. Wonderful. The team in the DR Congo have done an awesome job. They are so connected and for so many years. Uh, we are so pleased to see 
uh, those who have been able to participate in the meeting today, but we praise the Lord for this mighty work. Bob, you're next. Yes. Um, I just want to say for those of you who are listening to Boingo, he calls it the town of Kinshasa. It's not a town. It's a city of 12 million people, if you can imagine. And so when you talk about the town of Kinshasa, it's like the, the big country of Kinshasa. And so it's a very huge area. And for those of you who live in large cities, you have an idea that you can be in Kinshasa and never meet your colleagues because they're, they're a long distance away and it takes the transportation. Thank you very much, Bob. Bob, if you would like to share something else to the group or about the ministry, please. Uh, you have to unmute yourself first. Let me share, share with you an experience I had last week. I was in our place in Oceanside down in Southern California. And many years ago, I planted fruit trees. And um, one of the trees I planted was an avocado tree. Now, now I think in, in, in Spanish, it's avocate. In French, I'm not sure how you say avocado. But um, the tree has grown and it's big. And I, I can remember planting the tree. It was very small. But when we were there, Two weeks ago, I decided to harvest the, the avocado fruit. And I harvested maybe, I could pick 30, 30 avocados, maybe 30, 40. But there were five avocados way high that I could not reach. And so when my grandson came, I said, you know, Jude, can you get on a ladder and climb up and get those last five avocados. And he said, sure, Papa, I can do that. So he climbed the ladder and he got the five. And he said, Papa, there's a lot more avocados over the roof, which I could not see. So I said, how many are there? He said, I don't know. I don't know. I said, can you reach them? Can you pick them? And he said, well, let me try. So he reached and he picked maybe 40, 50 more avocados. And, uh, and he said, but there's more that I can't reach. I said, how many? He said, I don't know. I can't count them. Well, when I picked the avocados, I only had 30 or 40. I thought that was all, but the thing is, I couldn't see what was on top of the roof because there were branches that were growing over the roof and there were a lot more that I couldn't see and even more that he could not reach. So we brought a huge bag of maybe 50 avocados back here with us. And I was able to give them to my neighbors and bless them, you know, with the ones that we wouldn't be able to eat. And I thought, you know, this is like the kingdom of God. We plant a seed and it grows into a tree. And sometimes we're not high enough to see all the fruit that God has provided. And Jesus tells us that if we are obedient to what he calls us to do, that he will multiply the fruit. We may not see the fruit, 
but it's there, even if we don't see it. So sometimes when we get discouraged and we wonder where I've been working all this time and I don't see much fruit, I'm discouraged. And God says, don't be discouraged. I have grown and produced fruit from your obedience that you don't even know about. So my sharing with you today is, even though we don't see the fruit that we would like to see, know, remember that when we are obedient to what God calls us to do, he produces much more fruit than we can see. That's what I have to share, Ellie. Okay. Yes, we wanted to hear about uh, Masinga Biala Josue, but it seems that he couldn't connect. So I'm wondering if Buingo again can share something about the ministry of this dear co worker. Can you please share about Masinga Biala Josue and his work? Yeah, Josue Biala is the same. He is uh, also doing a good job. We are, we are working with him as also uh, an association staff in also in some area in uh, east, uh, in south of uh, Kinshasa also. And he is doing also a wonderful work in Sekebanza, in an area which we call Sekebanza. Uh, he is uh, also, we, you know, with this uh, materials, our, our churches is working very hard to use them to plant even, uh, even some churches, new churches with those material to teach and to train new people and new leaders in their churches there. So Biala is really uh, also a good one in this work for the kingdom of God. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, avocado in Portuguese is abacate. It's delicious. Uh, um, I'm Diogenes and my wife, uh, Gabriela. Um, I'm a pastor at the church in Itajaí, Santa Catarina, south of Brazil. Uh, I'm also the coordinator of SAMS at Harvest Brazil. And at the moment, uh, we have uh, 15 associates. Uh, in 20, 2011, I had my first contact with um, uh, and seeing them, uh, oh my God. With harvest. With harvest, yes, yes. I, I had used our lessons to serve church in Brazil. Uh, thank you for your attention. God bless you. It's your time, dear Steve. Hello, beloved. My name is Steve Akio Kawamura. I have been here in Brazil since 2000. God gave me the privilege to bring the Harvest curriculum to Brazil to translate and to contextualize for the Brazilian churches. Um, I have the privilege to have known Clayton and Ellie Oliveira since the 80s when I was going to seminary. And um, so, I, I was always sharing with Clayton and Ellie what I was doing. And Clayton was always so excited about what God was doing through these lessons. 
And so they took it and they have translated and contextualized it for our entire country here in Brazil. And so serving, I am serving as the coordinator of the Samaritan strategy here in the city of Londrina, which is the second largest city in the state of Paraná, just south of Sao Paulo, where one of the largest concentrations of population is. Um, I have had the privilege to be training church leaders here for the last 18 and a half, 19 years. And so I'm just grateful for every single person God has allowed me to, to influence towards his purposes for the kingdom and his church. Um, I just wanted to share one example of a couple that we are training here in, in Brazil. Their name is Julio Cesar and Mata. They're a young couple, but in February, after learning about our lessons, they went and they took, she, she's a baker. So she bakes cakes and sweet things <clears throat> for her customers. <clears throat> and so she baked a bunch of baked goods, took Bibles along with her partner, Selena, <clears throat> and they shared <clears throat> with all of her relatives at a picnic. Last month, she found out that one of her relatives had fallen from the roof and died. So she and her partner, Selena, who was trained by one of the people that we first trained here in Londrina, they went right to their home and sat down with them and prayed with them and spoke with them. And so God is doing wonderful things um, through the people that we have had the privilege to train. And we thank you for your prayers and for your love and fellowship. God bless you all in your service for the King. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you. I believe Ben is next, but uh, I will uh, come on. <laughs> Just say hello, my name is Julian, and uh, I'm originally from England, but now based in Phoenix, Arizona, in the USA. And uh, I'm serving as Bob's assistant, working along with uh, Ellie and Clayton, and I uh, feel very privileged to do so, and privileged to work with all of you. I was chatting to uh, a brother who lives in Cape Town, South Africa, last week, and uh, he was explaining uh, what is church, how the church is serving, being the hands and feet of Jesus in their community. And he was explaining how his church of 350 people were uh, providing care, provide uh, drug, uh, depend, you know, helping people with addictions, helping with teaching children, with the family. And I said, how, how many people are there in your church? You know, uh, he said 350. And I said, well, how many people are you serving? And he said, 20,000. And I just said, in disbelief, how are you doing that? And he said, no, it's God. Which, of, of course, made me look very stupid uh, because I should have known already that it was God. Uh, reminds me how Jesus is in the driving Jesus is the brains. Jesus is the power. Uh, he reminds us in John 15, he says, away from me, you can do nothing. That it is he who is working through us, through the branches to generate the fruit. And uh, again, when I was reading the scriptures, uh, it just struck to me that it was, we, as you all know, we bring our obedience. So God provides the plan. He provides the means, and he requires us and our obedience. He doesn't need us, but he, he calls us to it. And so just being very inspired with a real-life example of how uh, a few loaves of bread and a few fish, figuratively speaking, was transformed into a feast for 5,000, how a small group of obedient Christians could serve 28,000 people. Brothers and sisters, our, uh, our God truly lives and is truly powerful. But uh, it's a big, a big thank you 
for allowing me to uh, see you all. I'm looking at all your faces and uh, it's a real blessing to serve with you. May God bless you and your families in your mission as you seek to serve him. Thank you so much, Julian. Christina from Armenia finally could connect with us. So good to see you. Christina, you can share, please. Hello, everyone. Yes, I'm so happy uh, to see so many God's people. Yes, I'd like to shortly share. Um, you perhaps you do not know, but uh, in Armenia, in the end of last year, we experienced a short war where we lost territories, we lost people about between five to 10,000 young people died in that war. Many refugees, close to um, 100,000 of refugees and a lot of grief, uh, a lot of uh, sorrow. Yes, and recently we were ministering in a neighborhood small town in a small church and we finished harvest lessons and in the middle of all of this, this situation, when we just started, uh, we could feel how this congregation, and it was uh, consisted mostly from young people. Uh, and this uh, very day when we started the lesson number one, uh, this church learned of one young uh, guy from this very church that he died in the war. He was kind of lost and they didn't know where he, where he was, but at that day, finally, they got the news that he, he died. So, and it was hard to start, but um, we, we started and as we uh, followed a lesson after lesson, a day after day, we just saw how people were encouraged with the word of God and particularly in the last lesson of seed projects, when we divided this, uh, there were about 25 people, we divided them in small groups and they were planning the project and they used a big piece of paper to write a plan and then they would go forward and present their plan of the good action of love that they are going to do for their community. And we saw quite a change in these people, in these young people, and their eyes were uh, filled with hope. So J Jesus is a living hope. And um, we could see how this works in just before our, our eyes. In the midst of this grief and loss, uh, these young people, they could uh, see that they can do something. They can show love. They can. Uh, they are not completely lost. They, they their hope is not lost. There is hope, and they can do something. They can go forward. So, yes, this is what I wanted to share. God bless you. Yes. Thank you, Chris. That was very encouraging. Thank you very much. So, Buingo, we would like to hear a little bit more about the families. So, okay. share a little. More about the families in, in yeah the, in, we are very happy our family is doing well i spent some time uh, in the hospital but uh, god is uh, really good for us now i can also uh, i can again uh, uh, work we had uh, a good time in, uh, in the family all the family Esther is doing well, and we praise God for your prayers, and really for everybody who prayed for us. Esther is doing well. She can go to the church. She can, she can also participate to everything in the church. So we praise God for that. We, we have uh, our David, who still, uh, our David, who still uh, your prayer. Uh, his family still in Turkish, and he also is uh, in Belgium for now. 
So they need the really your prayer to uh, for him to get uh, in family uh, his family in Belgium and uh, Baraka uh, our our last young uh, son had also a problem with his house his house his house uh, had a had burned, but God is good. Everything is okay for now. Yeah. Awesome. Thank so, you. It's a joy to pray for each one. I'd like to invite Buingo to pray to close this meeting. Yeah, we need your prayer. Okay. You please pray for us now just to close this meeting. You can pray in no other language is better for you, brother. Brother Buingo. Can I'm you not please, this. Can yeah. you please pray for us, Buingo? Okay, thank you. In in French. <laughs> French, Kiswahili, okay. English, whichever. Okay. Merci Seigneur pour cet temps merveilleux que tu nous donnes. C'est vraiment un privilège parce que tu es notre Dieu. Toi qui as fait que nous puissions avoir ensemble une grande famille de Harvest et travailler ensemble pour le royaume de Dieu. Seigneur, merci pour chacun de nous et fait que nous puissions toujours, Seigneur, nous aimer les uns les autres et véhiculer. Seigneur, ce travail dans le monde entier. Et merci pour la santé que tu continues à donner à Bob, qui a donné cette vision. Seigneur, continue à garder sa famille. Continue, Seigneur, à souder notre famille ensemble. Et merci pour tout ce que tu fais dans notre famille de Harvest. Que tu sois loué au nom du Père, du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. 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 Thank you for participating. May the Lord be with you. Go oh, and Ayumi. Thank you so much. Thanks, brothers. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.